Welcome to this short Energy and Water Reporting and Benchmarking, or EWRB, video by the City of Toronto. There are six common alerts you may encounter when entering data into the monthly entries table. The date meter became active alert, a gap in days alert, an overlap in days alert, a negative values alert, an undefined alert, and an invalid file alert. How to fix the date meter became active error message. The error message appears if there is any gap between the date meter became active and the start date of your uploaded data. The date meter became active error will show up in two alert messages on the Manage Bills or Meter Entries page. The first notification will appear at the top of the page. The second alert will appear at the top of the table in the Monthly Entries section. To eliminate the first alert, click on the arrow next to the Basic Meter Information title. This will expand the Basic Meter Information section. When this section is open, set the date meter became active to the same day as the start date for your energy or water data for that meter. For example, if your gas consumption data starts on February 1st, 2022, you will need to set the date meter became active for your gas meter to February 1st, 2022. You will need to repeat this process for each utility meter that is showing the date meter became active error. Be sure to click the Save Changes button to save your changes. You should now see a green bar confirming that you have set the date meter became active to the same day as the start date for your energy or water consumption data for that meter. To eliminate the second alert embedded in the monthly entries table, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Save Bills button. The yellow alert bars should disappear and you should now see a second green bar confirming that you have resolved the date meter became active error. Gap in Days Alert Portfolio Manager will display an error alert if there are any gaps in data. A gap in your data entries will produce two yellow error alerts, one at the top of the Manage Bills or Meter Entries page, and one in the Monthly Entries table between the rows of data that are causing the error alert. To fix the error alert, Adjust the dates in red so there is no gap between the end date of the bill above the alert bar and the start date of the bill below the alert bar. Overlap in Days Alert The start and end dates of billing periods cannot overlap. Overlapping billing periods will produce two yellow error alert messages, one at the top of the Manage Bills or Meter Entries page and one in the Monthly Entries table between the rows of data that are causing the error alert. To fix the error alert, adjust the dates in red so there is no overlap between the end date of the bill above the alert bar and the start date of the bill below the alert bar. Negative Values Alert Portfolio Manager will display a big yellow alert if there are any negative values in the monthly entries table. Your data might include negative values if your utility estimates consumption and then adjusts your bill based on actual meter data. In such cases, your utility might send you a negative bill to make up for overcharging you during the previous billing period. Ignore the checkboxes in the yellow error message. They will only step you through reasons why you cannot have a negative number. Checking the boxes will not resolve the error. If you have a negative bill, the best way to resolve the error is to add the value of the negative bill to the value of the bill for the previous billing period. This should give you a positive total for the two bills. Split this positive total in half. Enter this amount as the new consumption value for both rows that were impacted. Then scroll down and click the Save Bills button. You should see a green bar saying that you have successfully updated your bills. Undefined alert. If you are trying to use the copy and paste method to enter data into the monthly entries table and you see this message saying undefined, go back to your Excel file and check the following. Are the dates formatted correctly for the copy and paste method of data entry? 
Have you selected yes or no in the estimation column? When you copied rows of data from the spreadsheet, did you select all columns of data, including blank cells in columns called optional? Invalid file alert. If you are trying to use the spreadsheet template to upload data into the monthly entries table and you see this message saying that the file you are trying to upload is invalid because it does not match the meter type or because it is incompatible with the upload feature, go back to your Excel file and check the following. Are the dates formatted correctly for the spreadsheet upload method of data entry? Have you selected yes or no in the estimation column? Thank you for watching the City of Toronto short EWRB video.